Las Vegas has literally hundreds of restaurants on the strip alone, and it can be extremely overwhelming to choose where to eat on your short stay here. That's why we're cutting it down to five restaurants that you need to try in your next trip to Las Vegas. Let's get started. So that's where we're starting first. We actually headed to the Cosmopolitan, which has some incredible food places to begin with. If you guys saw our other video we made in Las Vegas, you'll know that we went to the food court here and had an awesome time. But where are we having breakfast today? Today we're having breakfast in a place called the X Lot. Yes, very fun name. And apparently it's pretty popular because there was like a 45 minute line right. this morning at like 9.30 a.m. And we haven't even looked at our meals yet. Let's take a look, guys. Ooh, check it out. I got the sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich, and we also got some truffle hash browns to share, which I've heard are incredible. That's right, and I had this a lot. But check it out, it comes in this little container with mashed potato puree at the bottom, a poached egg on top, some chives, and some some bread served on the side. I think Sorry. it's sourdough. We're gonna dig it. I'm gonna try the hash browns. Mmm. Very good. Oh, an easy one. Let's dig into the sandwich. I know. Mm hmm. The sausage in this is incredible. It's really good. I'm not gonna film me eating this anymore because it's gonna get really messy because we got uh, over medium egg in here. So. Mm. Oh my god, so good. If you guys come over here, I personally recommend this a lot because there is an interesting mix of flavors. It's very good and with the bread, amazing. First I was a little bit disappointed because it was just a jar. I don't know what I'd expect, but uh, it was the best. <laughs> I really recommend that. you guys like quick eats because we found a really really good spot what's it called that's right it's called dirt dog and they sell hot dogs and elotes that is corn yes we're super excited about finding this place it's pretty affordable and it's actually right next to paris and across the street from caesar's palace we wanted to come to this place for a while and actually originates from this place in la yeah oh, perfect thank you Gracias. delivered to our table there you go Let's see what we're in store for. I personally got an elote, which I'm very excited for, and you got? I got a hot dog. An elote hot dog. An elote hot dog. So it's gonna be very good. They had all sorts of really unique hot dogs. Even like chili dogs, looks like a good place. Let's dig in. Here we have the elote. There's literal steam coming <laughs> off of it. This one has a lot of corn and it even has a uh, lime because Mexicans would put a lot lime of lime into the corn. Yeah. Crumbles. It does. I think I have to eat a little bit before. Mm. Mm. We found it. All right. Not a place to sit. You guys like secrets and you like pizzas. Well, you might be the perfect candidate for this next place. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. We found this place called Secret Pizza, and it's a uh, secret. Yeah. Until now. Yeah, it's also <laughs> in the Cosmopolitan, so we returned back here. Right. This time it's on the third floor. You go up the escalator, and in the distance once you get off the escalator there is a dark hallway lined with records and at the end a pizza shop that's right and uh, they have a 
basic menu over there. There's not a lot of yeah, pizzas. no frills. There's not a lot of seats over there. A couple, but there's not a lot of seats. But uh, and the cost of each slice is around five dollars. Yeah. a little bit more of yeah. five dollars. It's kind of charming. Honestly, they know how to do a good pizza. You can also get an entire pizza for I think about twenty nine dollars, and it's a fun place to try to find. And honestly, a lot cheaper than some of the options we're seeing here on this trip. As we said before, there's not a lot of room inside, so that's why we came over here. And luckily, we find these two chats. Yeah, exactly. So, bon appetit. Totally worth the hike. I just finished my first slice, and I loved that the crust had the perfect amount of crunch to it. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Martine ended up liking the um, the white pizza more, the one with the ricotta on top. Very good. Um, I also wanted to mention that if you're in line and you see, they have all the pizzas out that they pull the slices from. If you see one, if you only see a few options there and you don't see the one that you're wanting laying there already out, they, they do make them like very regularly. So don't feel intimidated to order one that's not like actual, actually visible there. That's right. We'd recommend the one with the ricotta on top. It was really delicious. Yeah. If you guys are looking for a good Asian food spot, we have a little hidden gem for you guys. The name is Wasusu. And if you're willing to go to the end of the strip, it's over here in the wind. Yes, it's the wind itself has a lot of really good restaurants. I mean, it has Sinatra, their steakhouse is really incredible. It has several Asian restaurants actually, but the reason we like Wazuzu is because it's more casual dining. You don't need to make a reservation. And it's a fusion of Japanese, Chinese, and Thai. So there's pretty much something for everyone here. We tried it six months ago and we really like the sushi over here. Yeah, it actually inspired us to make this video where like people need to know about this restaurant. So check it out. We got our we got the rainbow roll. That's right. I got the shrimp tempura roll. They're also really well known for their noodles, their soups. So let's dig in. This is our last spot of the day and it's of course tacos. So we are at Tacos El Gordo at the end of the strip and uh, I'm very happy because whenever you see the trompo outside of the taqueria, 9 of 10 times it means it's authentic. So over here we have some tacos al pastor and tacos de lengua. And I'm very happy, very, very happy. I'm Mexican and I know where an authentic place it is and I think this one it is. It was a very good, good place. It's not cheap by Mexican standards, but it's cheap for Vegas standards. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed adventuring around the Las Vegas Strip and trying some new food with us. We sure did and we are completely full. <laughs> we have a whole playlist of things to do in Vegas. So if you're curious, Make sure you check it out up above. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe this video if it helped you out at all. And thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. So long, travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.